Hey guys, it's the Movie Buff Pains. We're back again with another video. Um, today we're going to show you uh, what we've picked up in the Barnes & Noble Criterion sale so far. And it's quite a lot. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Um, we were going to wait and do this video when Marriage Story arrived in the mail, but it looks like it's going to be later this week. And uh, we'll probably pick up a few more titles before the end of the month, so we figured we would just do this one now. And then we'll have another haul video for you guys later on. I would say most of these are probably blind buys, so we won't have anything super substantial to say about any of them. Um, but we'll go ahead and like give our quick thoughts or you know the reason we picked it up. Um, and we don't have these in any particular order. We'll show you the box sets we picked up last, but we'll go ahead and dive right in. First one we have up is The Lady Eve, which my goal this time around was to start looking into more of the old comedies that Criterion has, so I'm really excited to check some of these out. This is a title that I was really excited to pick up, one of my favorite films of last year, and that is Portrait of a Lady on Fire. This is an absolutely beautiful film, and if you guys are looking for a really solid blind buy for the sale, I definitely recommend this one. And then we have a Fellini film I haven't seen yet, La Dolce Vita. The Friends of Eddie Coyle, directed by Peter Yates. To Be or Not To Be, Stranger Than Paradise by Jim Jarmusch, which we're trying to get all of his films, and Criterion has quite a few of them, yeah. so. I think we almost have all the ones that they've released on Criterion. Yeah, just about. And then we have a David Gordon Green film here, George Washington. Had this one on my list for a while, so looking forward to that one. And like I've said in a couple other videos, I'm trying to dive more into David Lynch's filmography. And a big part of that is watching Twin Peaks. So of course I had to pick up the uh, film companion, Fire Walk With Me. And this one was sold out pretty much everywhere, so I had to order this one online. A few of these I've had to order online. And then a Martin Scorsese film I've wanted to see for quite some time, The Last Temptation of Christ. Then we've got Topsy Turvy. Didn't know a ton about this one when I picked it up at the store, but just... Reading the little bit of the description, it really intrigued me. Plus, I really enjoyed Jim Broadbent as an actor, so I'm really interested to check that one out. Then this one we've actually been meaning to pick up for a while now. I think we yeah. keep putting it off, but we finally got it this, this sale. And that would be Being John Malkovich. And we actually did watch this one like a day or so after we bought it because mm -hmm. we were just like, we, we have to see this film. And we, we enjoyed it. Yeah, very out there, fun um, film from Spike Jones. I think we've liked everything we've seen from him so far. So. Yeah. Next up, we were able to get a copy of The War of the Worlds, which I was really excited for. I love science fiction. and Criterion doesn't quite do enough of it, in my opinion. So when they yeah. announced this, like the original version of this story i was really excited and we were able to snag that yeah it's become quite the hot commodity this sale it's sold out nearly everywhere i, I actually was lucky enough to catch it in stock online one day and was able to order it and uh, actually a similar story with this one uh, this one's called come and see this one came highly recommended to me from several people on instagram as well as youtube um, just, i've heard it's a very gritty realistic look at war and a very depressing but important film to see. So I am looking forward to it for that reason. And then I got a Wim Wenders film here. Um, I really loved Paris, Texas, so I wanted to check out some more of his filmography, and I got The American Friend. And the next one I got here is Betty Blue. Then we got Holiday. Yeah, that one's got a great cast. Yeah, it really does. We'll have to check that one out soon. Next we got until the end of the world which i think we're really honestly intrigued by this one because it's got a nearly five hour length to it at least that intrigues <laughs> me and it is also in the science fiction category which um i like so it's like well that'll have to be an afternoon sometime and it's another one for the Wim wenders collection so i'll have to watch it as well <laughs> And then this one uh, I've gotten recommended a few times, specifically by Stephanie, aka Moody, Movie Chatter. She spoke pretty highly of this one, and the synopsis just sounded really interesting to me, and that is Late Spring. And then another film that's been recommended to me a few times during this sale, um, and that is Failsafe, directed by Sidney Lumet, uh, who also directed 12 Angry Men. So looking forward to this one. Next, we've got The Circus, 
which I've been trying to get as many of Charlie Chaplin's films as I can along the way. We still have a few to go, but we're definitely making headway in that category. Mm -hmm. I was really excited for this one because I have seen this movie before and I was really excited for Criterion to release it. I'm interested to check out the transfer on this one, and that is The Great Escape. I really enjoy this movie, one of my probably favorite war movies I've seen, and so I'm really excited to own a new version of this. I've never seen it before, but I've heard great things, so looking forward to it. Next up, we have a Roman Polanski film, Cul-de-sac. Always willing to check out a new Polanski film. And then we have Investigation of a Citizen Above Suspicion. A really cool uh, digipack box set. And then directed by Richard Brooks, we have In Cold Blood. Next we've got Valerie and Her Week of Wonders. My Man Godfrey. The 400 Blows, which I think this is another one we were kind of surprised we didn't have quite yet because this is a pretty big one for Criterion. Yeah, one of their earlier titles. And I actually have seen this film. It's a very good film. Looking forward to revisiting it. The Fugitive Kind. The Day Trippers. Bamboozled by Spike Lee. Always look forward to checking out his films. Definitely. And then we have a John Waters film here, Polyester. I absolutely love that Criterion is releasing a lot of his filmography. I think that's awesome. And then this is a documentary that comes highly recommended, and that is Paris is Burning. Then we've got The French Lieutenant's Woman. I feel like that's one I picked up and put down like several times throughout the last few sales. So I was like, okay, this time I'm actually going to buy it. <laughs> so if you guys have seen that one, let, let me know what you think of it. And then we have a Robert Aldrich film here, Kiss Me Deadly. Heard nothing but good things about this one. About a lot of these films, actually. The Criterion Collection always just releases fantastic films. And then this is one that's been on my list for quite some time, and that is Yee Yee. And then these next three are all directed by Pedro Almodovar. Probably said that wrong, um, but he directed Pain and Glory that we watched not too long ago, and we both really enjoyed it. Um, so I wanted to dive into his filmography, and it just so happens three of his films are on the Criterion Collection, so that was awesome. First one is Woman on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown. And then we have Tie Me Up, Tie Me Down. And then we have All About My Mother. So definitely looking forward to diving more into his filmography. All right, so the last few pickups are box sets. We were actually able to pick up three already, um, and hopefully we'll be able to pick up one or two more before the end of the sale. Mm -hmm. I feel like in the past we haven't taken the opportunity to pick up very many box sets, but the Criteria sale is absolutely the best time to pick these up because you're not going to get these for any cheaper. I mean, they're 50% off, and then if you're a Barnes & Noble member, it's another 10% off. So on average, you end up spending, I don't know, like 10 to $15 per film in the box set, which is just a really great deal. And, you know, these films are always great transfers and they come with tons of supplements, so it's well worth your money. And uh, you can find some really good films this way. Mm hmm definitely. First one, this was a pick, uh, this was something I picked. It's Three Fantastic Journeys by, I'm going to butcher it probably still, but <laughs> Three Fantastic Journeys by Carl Zeman. And I, I picked these out because this is one of the few titles that they actually tag under the animation category because these three films are supposed to be a really good mixture of both live action and animated techniques that he kind of pioneered at this point. Yeah, and looking at that cover, I, I probably could have picked that out for him. Like It looks like something that is absolutely up his alley. And I, I know he's looking forward to checking those out. Definitely. And I'll, I'll expand my my vision and and check those out as well especially because they're um czech movies yeah so it, i'm not sure if i've ever seen a czech film me Pro either probably but mm -hmm. not that i can think of off the top of my head yeah and then a box set that i've had my eyes on for probably the last couple of years and that is the essential jacques demi he's a very influential filmmaker uh, definitely an inspiration for damien chazelle when he made la la land um, this one comes with lola bay of angels the Umbrellas of Cherbourg, Cherbourg, The Young Girls of Rochefort, Donkey Skin, Un Chambre en Vie. I don't remember any of my French <laughs> from high school French class, so I probably did terrible on all of those. But either way, I've heard great things about these films and I'm looking forward to diving into this set. Our last one for today was a new release during the sale here, and that is Bruce Lee, his greatest hits. This one contains The Big Boss, 
Fist of Fury, The Way of the Dragon, Enter the Dragon, and Game of Death. And we've really been meaning to dive into some Bruce Lee films, so this is an excellent set for us, and I definitely foresee us getting into this soon to check out some yeah. of his movies. Yeah, that's a huge blind spot in my movie watching definitely need to get into some bruce lee and by the looks of it this is a beautiful set i've watched a few unboxings of it i know it looks awesome tons of supplements and i'm sure the transfers look great as well so yeah needless to say we, we've gone a little bit overboard in the sale uh, <laughs> uh, but we've had a lot of fun and amazingly we still have our eye on a few more titles that we'll probably pick up before the end of the sale Definitely looking forward to Marriage Story getting here in the mail. We both love that one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, keep an eye out. We will do another video showcasing what else we pick up. Um, and if you guys have any thoughts on anything we picked up, do you see any favorites? Are there any that you want to give your opinion on? Let us know in the comments. Um, hit the bell to hear when we upload new videos. Like this video and subscribe. And yeah, that's all for today. And yeah, like she said, We'll probably go crazy and get more. So probably. <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll see you around for a second round of showing off our how our Criterion collection is growing. And yeah, we will see you next time. See ya.